Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the WTA awards have been announced. And we have a couple of players that may be surprised in the WTA awards. Let's go check out who actually won player of the year and some of the other categories. So starting with coach of the year, we had David Witt, who was actually Jessica Bagula's coach and well-deserved because Bagula has had a breakout season. And more importantly, she's had a very consistent season, not only in singles, but also in doubles as well. So he was named the coach of the year. The sportsmanship award went to Onstruper. No surprise there. Probably one of the most loved players on the WTA amongst players. She seems to be friends with absolutely everybody. The comeback player of the year was Tatiana Maria after she made it to the semifinals of Wimbledon. Very unexpected semifinalist, but she was named comeback player of the year. The newcomer of the year, now, this was a very interesting category, and it was Zhang Qing Wen, who actually won the award, which I think is very fitting. She had a great season. She was very competitive against the best player in the world throughout the whole season in Igor Sviantec. So definitely one to watch out for next year if you didn't already know who she was. Very well deserved their newcomer of the year. The most improved player of the year went to Haddad Maya, who, if you can remember, before Wimbledon had a very good run, winning a couple of titles, and then, of course, making the final in Canada just before the US Open. So very well deserved there and she definitely rocketed up the ranks throughout the season and also grabbed a couple of titles. The doubles team of the year went to Krajikova and Siniakova, which I think very deserving. They're the best team on the planet. And that was actually in a year where Krajikova was actually a little bit injured as well. So they won doubles team of the year. And then the big one, the player of the year, no doubt about it, it's Igor Sviantec. It was super easy to find that one. I think that was the most obvious category out of them all. Igor Sviantec, player of the year, after an absolutely stellar season. Two Grand Slams, that massive streak she went on as well. A bunch of titles, beating the entire top 10. I mean, she was just unstoppable in 2022. So there you have it. They have the WTA awards for this year. Let me know down in the comments below. Are there anyone that maybe missed out? Do you think that maybe Garcia should have gotten put in there maybe as the uh, comeback player of the year? You reckon coach of the year should have gone to Sviantec's coach maybe? Because of course, Sviantec had a great season. The coach probably had something to do with that. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with that. I think, you know, Iga Sviantec obviously the best player on the planet and she definitely was player of the year. But let me know down in the comments below who do you think should have been in the awards or maybe are you confused about maybe who missed out on some of the awards, but they're the WTA awards for 2022.